Hello, Gothic friends. Razman is my name. Welcome back to the world's Let's Play with the World Gothic 2 Libre Edition Harko. We managed to get to the Valley of Mines, learn the trophy of removing the snappers, the dragon snappers parts. It only costed 1 LP. We are back here to the mercenaries. We can actually finish a quest to go up there and kill those uh, pickers. But on the way there, there might be some dragon snappers, which wouldn't be a bad idea to do. Get that quest also out of the way. And then we can either save Bennett or go to the... Oh, what's this? Save Bennett or go to the uh, Yarkandar. So we have some missions in... Ooh, can we do it from here? We have some missions in Korinesi once we get there. Oh, he's jumping. Okay, we deal good damage. Can we actually fight with him from here? That's three hits, it's not bad. If we can tank one. Ah, okay, that wasn't bad at all. So they dropped two horns. And we can actually deal with that. That means we can kill the Dragon Snapper from Gan also. We are kind of out of the food that we can actually... Ah, we have potions, okay. We can buy more potions once we get into the Yark and Dark. Okay, that wasn't planned. Luckily we can jump high. So what are they worth? They are 100 gold worth each and we get two per, per, per beast. So that means we get 10 gold, I believe, or 12 gold. Still, they will add a lot because there are really, really a lot of them later on. Also, due to the, the mod. Wow, that was lucky. That was very lucky, and I believe that's it. Oh, it looks so ugly here. Also, on the hand, it doesn't look that... That's great if you see here. We can see the old armor. I don't know why they mess it up or it was intentional. I have no clue. Bread we can eat. Yeah, we have a lot of bread. So now I believe we are just going to go to the Yarkandar. There is no point to keep doing the quest here at the moment because we need to, to change our pacing. Because once we are done with Yarkandar, we will go there in the fourth chapter or the fifth chapter we can go again most likely the fifth chapter and clear everything or even the fourth chapter because i know that in the fourth chapter they respawn just uh, the bandits and so on should be killed in the fifth chapter because fisk can have new stuff in his inventory due to the chapter ad advancement yeah it looks like we cleared everything here no, we can just go to Orlan. We have no teleport anymore there, sadly. I have no clue where all the teleports are. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Now you shall feel the power of the master. You cannot elude it. Ah, oh, luckily he didn't possess us. The possession is bad because we cannot uh, sleep anymore. We would have to go to the monastery, buy the stuff. But luckily, we talk with two of them and none of them seduce us. Well, not seduce us, what's the word for it? They didn't possess us. Lucky for us. Otherwise, while we would sleep, we wouldn't get any healing or mana. Behind Sekop we will go at the Sekop's farm a bit later on. Once we come from Yarkandar we can clear everything from here. We will do that because as I said in the fourth chapter there are going to be new stuffs added to the world that will kill the other ones, the existing ones. And we don't really want that, right? Yeah, so quiet now as we killed a lot of the Seekers. We could actually check the Iskarot before we go to the Yarkandar. Yeah, we should do that. We should check the Iskarot. 
Been there, done that. Yeah, you've been there, done that. I know. We all know. We also can get more dexterity from praying later. Nothing new here? There should be a seeker, I believe. A wolf, okay. Right, there should be some things because we have to go to the monastery. And normally, natural ways that you would go to a big spot should be guarded by new enemies. Wasn't there supposed to be a seeker here? Jorgen, okay. We will deal with that later on. For the time being, we only want the Iskarot, his goodies. Hey! Iskarot. 1000 health, that's a lot. Show me. Yay, what do you have there? The ice blocker is very good for the very powerful monsters. And by the looks of it, that's it. Skeletons, they are not great. And a, fa a small firestorm is also quite good at damage, but we do have range weapons. Maybe some potions, yeah, that, that wouldn't be bad at all. And that's it. We need more money anyway. Inos watch over you always. Thank you, brother. Brother of the fire. So now we can go to the water mages and go to Yarkandar and check out what they have for us in store. This year is quite uh, hectic. Everything is so powerful. What we didn't really check is this road, right? If something spawned here. And I still have no clue about the strength. Yeah, there is nothing, right? Yep. Nothing spawned here, good. Down there, yeah, we have... Oh, right, we also have to kill the Shadow Beasts now. All of them. In this chapter and the next chapter, the chapter 4. But not in chapter 5. In chapter 5, the NPC disappears for some reason. He dies or he... He leaves Koranis, the guy from Buster that buys the horns. So that means we have to do all the Shadow Beasts before end of chapter 4. That's why a, a clearing of the world would be nice in the 4th chapter. Not here, but in the Yarkandar chapter 4 and here in the chapter 3. Nice. So Kronos, right? Do you have any new stuff? Maybe it will become a dump NPC for us also. Equipment? Tell me what you need. The ice lens is strong. And we have no more money. This is also the dust devil is also very strong. Do we have stuff to sell to him? Rusty sword, yeah. Take a sword. I know about the fire bow. If we are ever going to use it, we only have 20 arrows. We cannot craft new ones. The armor, the mercenary armor and stuff, we don't really need. This is not great at all. This is O-ring of water, we don't need it anymore. The mana, we might need for some. The or amulet, Will of the Wisps is not needed, but this is very bad now. So yeah, we get 10 per horn. Gold, that's not bad. Not great, but not bad either. The silver dishes we are going to keep on. The goblin bones, I don't know if they are needed, but the skeleton bones we have seen, we need many of those. Uh, actually, I don't know if I should sell those things, because sooner or later we have to go on leather pouch. What's that? Didn't we use it? We did, right? Or, oh, we didn't. Probably I forgot to save once using it. I'll check it. Yeah, we forgot to save after we use it. So those things we are going to have to hold on to. Because as I said, did we talk to Merdarion? Once we can craft armor, then my, maybe 
we need a lot of those stuffs. I don't know what's wrong with the crafting armor. Do we have to learn blacksmith before we can do anything? Hey. Yeah, Mixir has nothing for us. But Nefarious hey. could have. About the missing ornaments. Two hundred yes, experience here. only. That's another. so little. Oh, that's terrific. Now I have them all. Now all we have to do is put them together. We will have to use our combined powers to fit the piece back into a ring. Here, I can give you some gold coins for your trouble. Follow me. That's a very good uh, powerful spells that we have. We can use against some orcs that are bad positioned. Like, for example, the orc scouts. So the guy wants us to go back there. We have to craft the portal ring. By the time the guys crawl here, I believe we have one found sentinel that we haven't looted. Not sure if that's true. We still have to wait for the slowpoke mages. Yeah, there he is. Old coin. Anything spawned here? No, not yet, right? Oh, actually, yes, see? Yeah, so we actually have more things to clear up here, but we will do that, as I said. Once we are done with Yarkandar, there are a lot of stuff. We can clear also the cave. We need the dagger. The dagger sword. The master dagger, or whatever the name it is. Yeah, we have to save money for that. Because for there are some skeletons going to be on the on our way. Uh, forgot about that. We can use the weapon that we have, but still not great. There. And now, step aside. Yep. We are stepping quite aside like this. Can't do anything. So there is a trick. Save and reload, and that gets rid of the long ass animation. Hey, you! The ornament has been put back together. Thank you. Since you brought us the necessary fragments, you should also set them into the portal. Go to Satyrus and let him give you the reassembled ring. Hopefully, the portal will then open. Yeah, that would be quite helpful. That's Ross, you're not a friend of us. What sort of strange earthquakes are those? That is one of the puzzles I am trying to solve. The structure of magic is being disturbed somewhere behind these mountains. Quite obviously, someone is trying with all of his might to break a powerful magic. I fear it will not be long before the entire island is plagued by these tremors. I belong to the Ring of Water now. Yep. As I see, you bear our secret sign, the Aquamarine Ring. And we I solved it. How can you see that? You speak the truth. That's also Very well. weird. I shall accept your entrance into our ranks, but bear in mind that this comes with a great responsibility, and I hope for your sake that you'll do it justice. Yeah, I just wish they would be able to see that we don't have the ring anymore and they would force us to keep the ring because we just sold the ring. the ring. I shall open the portal. He says that he can Good. see that we wear the ring. As a new we, member, bullshit. You should be granted this honor. However, I'm still waiting for a message from Vatras. Until I receive it, we cannot go. I have a message from Vatras for you. You're shocked, Very right? Interesting. All right. Here. Take the ring. We shall gather at the portal and wait for you. If Nefarious is right, the portal will open as soon as you insert the ring there. Nice. 
Is this the right way? Yeah. Oh, we should have learned more dexterity from Diego or from the bow maker because there is no dexterity in the Arkandar that can teach us. Even though we deal quite good damage, I believe we are we are safe for the time being. Who haven't we talked to? Nefarius, Mixir, we did Kronos, we did Yordian. Yeah, the Will of the Wisp we don't need, and Merdarian is the teleport, okay. That's so dramatic. Petras is also here. The Nordian Nefarius, he should tell us something, right? What now? Yeah. What now? What are you waiting for? Go and get out of our way. Wow, that's rude. Very rude. But whatever. With such friends. And finally in Yarkandar, after 36 episodes. Wasn't that long, right? This looks like the same spot as we went away from, right? There are some goodies on the ground, yep. Luckily we learned to read for free. Ah, those are just generic. No new information. I believe the other ones are in the other buildings and not here. The ones that have to be red. Oh, we have monsters. Stone sentinels. Wow, we almost one shit them. One shot, not one shit. Sorry. We almost one shot them. Weird that we deal so much damage to the nothing there. The sentinels, the stone arrow is piercing so hard into the stone. I'm curious, do we actually get a new bow here? We shall see. Oh, lots of skeletons here. There any monsters or that's it we will we can clear later on because we will have to come back here anyway there is going to happen more stuff oh look at our friends and look how much forest there is around Adenos be thanked you are finally here we thought you would not show up again what how are you already here you went through the portal and we followed you it did not take long before we arrived here. However, you were not there. We have been here for several days. Several days? How can that be? After we could not find you anywhere, Nefarious sought to ascertain what might have gone wrong. He seemed to be thoroughly baffled until now. Well, now you are here and can begin your work. No time to rest, right? What happened in the meantime? We have collected many new insights. The earthquakes do indeed appear to be stronger here. We are not very far from their center now. The builders of these old structures erected a city here in their day. So much we can already say. However, for some reason their culture came to an end. But so far, we can only speculate as to why. Why? Have you found a trace of the missing people? Only yesterday we found the body of a fisherman. He was lying under one of the ruins to the east. It looks as though the fisherman was from Corinus. You should look into this. Yeah, we will do that. So we have a lot of uh, chats to do with the mages here to get informed of everything. We are going to go through all what of them. What about Raven? In his letter, Raven spoke of a temple and that he was trying to get inside. We are unanimously of the opinion 
that it is a temple of Adonos that Raven seeks to desecrate. The earthquakes are obviously the result of unholy incantations, which keep colliding with a powerful spell. The gates of the temple are magically sealed, and this is the very magic that makes the stone sentinels arise. The temple is defending itself. We must stop Raven before he can penetrate into the Holy of We Holy. or I? Because as always, they keep saying we have, we have, we have, and we are always alone doing everything. What does Raven want in the temple? We only know that it has to do with a powerful artifact that is somehow connected to Adonos and Beliar. We can certainly assume that he is not up to anything good. Not very true. Raven is only a former ore baron, not a magician. How can he carry out an invocation like that? Perhaps it is not he himself, but rather a renegade magician in his pay. One way or another, we must avert the evil. What happens next? We shall remain here and continue studying the ancient culture. The old scripts of the builders conceal a great many secrets which we must reveal, if we want to understand what happened here back then. Meanwhile, you must do a few things for us. I must? I don't? What should I do? You must find Raven and prevent him from desecrating the Temple of Adonos. You mean I should kill him? If that is the only way to stop him, then in Adonos's name, yes. On your way, collect all the ancient relics and inscriptions of the builders you can find. No, very true. What are you going to do in the meantime? We must know more about these people and their demise. Only when we see through Raven's plans can we thwart them. Furthermore, you must find a way to free the slaves. Is that all? I could do that left-handed. Yeah. I know that is much to ask. Regard it as a chance to regain my trust. I'll get going then. One more thing. Raven has gathered a large number of bandits about him. In your absence, we have fetched another member of the Ring of Water here. We sent him into the swamp. He did not come back. We suspect that the bandits attack everyone who does not look as they do. So, acquire some of the bandits' armor. That is the only way you'll get close to them without being attacked right away. Intermezzo Raven. Okay, what's that? New chapter or what? What poor swine did you There's send so into the swamp? There's so much dialogue His name here. Was Lance. I'm afraid he did not get very far. Where will I find bandit armor that fits me? There seems to be a camp of pirates to the west. As far as we know, they're in contact with the bandits. I do not think that they will attack you if you approach them. Perhaps you can find some help with them. So if we would May save... Protect you. If we would save Bennett, we would get the Dragon Hunter armor, I believe, so... I don't know if we should have done that before or not, but... We are here already, so actually we can just enjoy playing with this armor. Because usually we don't really wear, or not many people wear this armor because they just rush the, the one with the Dragon Hunters. But I, I do prefer to do it like this. For this game, uh, for this playthrough. And I always like to go up here because there are some goodies that can be collected. Like a good sword. If they didn't remove it. Pirates Cutlass, okay. That's some money worth. So, as I said, there are a lot of dialogues with the magicians here because we need to get informed of everything because apparently we came way too late into this and they came much much earlier so they will tell us everything but I wanted to collect those stuffs here before we forget is this a tree? nope, thought it was a tree that See, there is a scroll also that's quite hidden and we have the alligator jack we know about him okay, that wasn't planned Right, there are the mantis, but I believe they are already dead. Oh no! Another one of those. All right, so much for you, filthy beast. Yeah, I didn't expect one shot. It. That's very good. That is very good. 
You didn't lose the experience. Usually those are dead. Hey, you! Did you expect this here? Not at all. I'm awestruck at how large the city must have been. Most of the buildings were buried under stone and earth. But the runes that have survived the ages are spread all over the land. There must have been thousands living here. I just thought about we have to talk with uh, with the ghost later on and it is guarded by a troll. We need a bow with it for the troll, I believe. We have to invest our stuff in strength, most likely. What will I find out there? In the east, there's a large fortress in a gigantic swamp. As far as we can judge from here, the bandits have taken refuge there. If I were you, I wouldn't go down there. They've set up many outposts and guards. You'd better avoid the swamp until you have more experience, or find a way to go around the bandits. In Good the advice. west, we have discovered some pirates. I'm not sure, but I believe they have also discovered us. They don't seem too perturbed by our presence, though. Tell me more about the area. What do you want to know? Ah, uh, okay, those are just the generic ones. Can you teach me your skills? I can instruct you in the art of alchemy, and I can show you how to teach your will of the wisp to search ah, go away with the will of the wisp. Teach me the art of brewing potions. And what do you want to brew? Uh, none of those, for sure. We have Riordian and Satras. Who's the guy here? Mixer, yeah. Hey. I believe he doesn't have much for us to say. Any new findings? The builders of these ruins fascinate me. It is just too bad that their language is as dead as they are. Even their mighty rituals and summonings could not save them. Summonings? The builders had a strong connection to the spirit world. If I have understood correctly, they believe they were in constant contact with their ancestors. They held regular summonings and rituals to ask the spirits for advice or to gain enlightenment. How did these spirit summonings work? The guardians of the dead had their special formulas they used to pacify the spirits. The descriptions I could find here, however, are in part very confusing. Only rarely do I get a clear answer to my questions. Okay. The undead that I know never had much to say. The builders did not create soulless undead such as zombies or other evil creatures. These spirits were the souls of great warriors, priests, and rulers. So far, I have no doubt that they really exist. If I see a spirit, I'll let you know. Yep. <laughs> yes, I insist on it. We spoke with three magicians, three more to go. Mertarian, we didn't speak with you. How's it going? Listen, curious, don't you think? Very. Mm. These teleporter stones don't appear to function, and yet you can hear them hum. Although they aren't active, a certain energy rests in them nevertheless. What do you think needs to be done to activate them? I have an idea about that. I just need proof for my suspicion. I had a feeling days ago that I had seen this sort of construction somewhere before. I suspect that we have to supply them with a damn large amount of magical energy to get them back into service. Where have you seen these teleporter stones before? You were in the penal colony too. Didn't you ever notice those stones? I am quite sure that they still can be found there today. How do these teleporter stones get their power? The Builders were a very highly developed people. They used properties of magic that we have never seen. A network of teleporter stones was built so the Builders could move quickly from one place in the city to another. The stones here obviously form a kind of center. What could provide enough magical energy? I can only think of one thing. Yes, yeah, the magical magic focus. focus. I mean, one of the five focus stones that were used to create the magical barrier in the Valley of the Mines. As far as I know, you had to get them back for us a while ago. Yes, I can remember. Where are the focus stones now? They were entrusted to me. I am supposed to keep them safe until we find another use for them. The way it looks, the time is ripe now. So they, they learned the, the lesson to take the focus stones with them, unlike the other the 13 or the 12 magicians before. That created a barrier, they simply left them in place and went away. Yep. 
you said made total you sense. Proof for your suspicion. A magical focus should be connected to these stones, but I don't know where. I've heard enough. Give me a focus stone. I will try to get the teleporters to work. All right, but be careful with it. You hear? Satyrus will have my head if we lose them. Don't you worry. I found can them once. Can you teach me your magic skills? I can show you how to increase your magic power. We don't want to increase our magic power. So we have Nefarious and Kronos. Not mix here. Oh, look at the guy. What is he doing, Nefarious? Wait a minute. I'm tremendously relieved to see that you have arrived here unscathed. Unlike you. How is it that you arrived here before me? We traveled through a curious dimension. Who knows what detours you took. And now, can I use the portal again? We came here directly. It obviously works quite well. Of course, I'll let you know if I have the suspicion that it could be otherwise. What have you done here up to now? I'm studying the history of the builders, and I'm trying to understand why they closed the portal. It looks very much as though they wanted to hide the sunken city from the rest of the world. Terrible things happened here many years ago. They were seized by something awful. There was a dreadful civil war shortly before the downfall of the city, if their records can be believed. The streets were in flames. And a flood which devoured everything ultimately sealed the fate of the builders. The few who survived the inferno closed this part of the island in the hope of locking up the chaos. And we unlock it, right? Did you say that there was a flood? Adonos himself appeared to them to end the madness. He raised the city to the ground. What made the builders so agitated? One of their own devoted himself to evil. He was a great commander named Quahodron. Returning from a successful battle outside the protecting walls of the city, he brought the evil with him. All of his followers fell to the madness a short time later and began to battle with the common folk. The civil war that followed produced everything to rubble. Was it Quahodron? Wasn't it the Radames that gave in? What do you think we will find here? I can only speculate about that. You should talk to Satyrus. He Again? has a certain idea. And we fools have reopened the portal. I'm not happy about that either, believe you me. But what choice did we have? If we cannot stop what is happening here, then Corinus will suffer exactly the same fate that once befell the builders of this ancient city. Why? Corinus doesn't have the... Evil stuff that happened this here. Portal is safe. I haven't had any reservations so far. Yeah, the guy is stuck somehow. Kronos, you are the last. Nice to see you. We feared the worst. You shouldn't. It wasn't all that bad. How's it going? This is a very dangerous region here. Some of the animals in the area have never been seen by anyone before us. Close by, there is a large swamp that managed to grow for several hundred years without anyone noticing. Not a day goes by that we aren't attacked by beasts from the swamp. I advise you to be careful if you go for a stroll here. Okay, noted. Is there anything new about the stone sentinels? We have already managed to eliminate some of them. They stand there, paralyzed like pillars of salt, and don't budge. But appearances deceive. If you get too close, they'll attack you. There's no doubt that the source of their power can be found here somewhere. You guys are so sure about everything. Let's deal. So you got new stuff for sure. Yep. Ice blocks are very good against strong monsters, but for the time being, we are set, set and safe. Oh, the storm we need. Yeah. All the storms we need. Seventy gold. That one. Where is the other storm? Yeah, the, the storm is very good. We we also need a other sword. Those are very good. Yeah, look at those. 140 damage. This is better. For the same amount of money. Okay, I didn't know that. We will have eventually to buy... Oh, look at this. Valley of the Builders. 
We will buy that later on. There are many spells. But we are safe for the time being. So, we spoke with all of them. Satras has something for us again. Apparently, he has an idea for something. Then we will do the teleporter stone for Merdarian, and then we will just prepare for the next episode where we are going to fight even more. Some goodies here from someone, leftovers. Anything good here? A mandible? Yeah. We need a lot of money. Don't get me wrong here. We need a lot of money. At least the beds are free. And here is nothing, right? Oh, a healing herb. Okay. Satras, hey. what's your idea about what? Nefarious told me about a flood. He gave us experience with Adonis himself descended from heaven to punish the unbelievers and banish them to the realm of the dead. Aroused by his holy wrath, he let the sea fall upon the builders of this city and swept them away. The swamp to the east still bears witness to these events of the past. What could have made Adonis so angry? The temple of this city was once a great, glorious structure. Everyone honored it and prayed to our god, Adonis. Radamus, the son of the commander Quahodron, desecrated the temple. As a oh, it result, was Radamus. one after another fell victim to evil. I suspect that Adonis would not forgive this, and his revenge fell upon the land. This makes it even more important that we stop Raven. He is about to do exactly the same thing. May yeah. Adonis protect you. I quite often get it why the, the Adonis wiped out the people but left the sword instead of just destroying the sword and the people if you wanted to destroy the people but why only destroy the people and leave the sword unless he wants to test the next one yeah the giant rats respawn with the quest it makes no sense to me i mean if they wanted to avoid a lot of stuff then simply just remove the, the evil and don't let people suffer At the focus on finally we can play with it. Where is the guy? Mertarian, we did it. I've activated one of the teleporters. Five hundred experience, that's that. a lot. So I was right. I have talked to the others about it. We want you to try to activate all the teleporter stones. It would be a great help in our investigations if we could move quickly from one part of the city to another. Here is another focus stone. Activate them all if you can. I'll try. Hello. Yeah, I just don't get it. Why don't they give us all of them at once? And they just give us one and one and one. So we can in the next episode clear a bit around the around the magicians to have to make them a safe place, and then we will go with Jack the alligator to to their camp. So. We are going to make a cut here. Thank you very much guys for joining me. I'll see you in the next episode. Be cool and bye bye.